everybody. How's everybody doing? That's you, honey. You're seeing yourself in the in the reflection. <laughs> you what do you see that doggy in there? You better get him. Don't you burn your nose. You better not get in there too far. Good boy, Giz. He's such a good watchdog. Hi, everybody. I'm Cherie. Welcome to our channel. I hope you're all doing okay today. Uh, today we're reading through the book of Luke in chapter 16. Today's the 16th, so we are going to be going through the chapter uh, 16 of Luke. So, let me see here. I had a better shot a while ago, but I moved my camera. But that's okay. We'll just go with this, I guess. <laughs> I was trying to give you something in the background to look at, so... Anywho, it's uh, 38 degrees here, I think. It's raining, raining, raining. And it's so cold outside, I couldn't wait to feed the goats and get back in the house. So, anyways, I'm sorry I've not been on here the past few days. I've had a rough few days, really. Friday wasn't very good. It had been four weeks since my mom passed away, and it kind of hit me a little bit then. So, I'm just kind of moseying through. I have good times and bad times, like everybody else. But, um, anyway... I'm trying to get on here this week and do this for you all every day. Uh, I really wanted to the other day, but I just really didn't have it in me to do it. Uh, I'm sorry, but I didn't. Um, but we're here today, so we're going to be positive, positive, positive. I think I'm it's what my word for 2020 is going to be is positive, positivity. Look it on the bright side when you can and be positive about everything, so... If you've not made a word for 2020 yet, picked you out a word, you need to be thinking about what word you can have uh, for 2020, like joy or forgiveness, patience, on and on. So, here we go. Now, I'm reading out the King James today. Uh, I don't read out of it very often. This is the KJVER, which is a little bit of a... It's King James, but some of the words are changed just a teensy bit from thou and thee and all that stuff. But the majority of the words are identical. So, anyway, so let's begin in chapter 16 in the book of Luke. I try to do a different translation anymore uh, when I do these. That way, sometimes you all might have the, the same translation I do. It doesn't really matter. You can still follow along. And I'll try to tell you what verses I'm in periodically so we can all keep on the same page, so to speak. And he said also to his disciples, There was a certain rich man which had a steward, and the same was accused to him that he had wasted his goods. And he called him and said to him, How is it that I hear this of you? Give an account of your stewardship, for you may be no longer steward, which is like management. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my Lord takes away from me the stewardship. I cannot dig. To beg, I am ashamed. I am resolved what to do, that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his Lord's debtors to him, and said to the first, How much owe you to my Lord? And he said, A hundred measures of oil. And he said to him, Take your bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. Then he said, Excuse me, I'm trying to get to where I can see. Okay. Then, he, then said he to another, And how much owe you? And he said, A hundred measures of wheat. And he said to him, Take your bill and write four score. And the Lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. And I say to you, make to yourselves friends of the mammon of unrighteousness, that when you fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitations. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. If therefore you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? And if you have not been faithful in that which in another man's, 
is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, or wealth. Mammon is another word for wealth. Oops, I skipped some. Oh. And the Pharisees also, who were covetous, many lovers, heard all these things, and they derided him, which means scoffed at him. And he said to them, You are, you are they which justify yourselves before men. But God knows your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God, which is something detestable. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presses into it. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the law, a small mark of the law, to fail. Whosoever puts away his wife and marries another commits adultery, and whosoever marries her that is put away from her husband commits adultery. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fared sumptuously, lavishly, every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels. Into Abraham's bosom the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and sees Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he's comforted, and you are tormented. And beside all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from here to you cannot. Neither can they pass to us that would come from there. Verse 27. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you the verses. Then he said, I pray you therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, that he may testify to them, lest they also come into this place of torment. 29. Abraham says to him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went to them from the dead, they will repent. And he said to him, If they bear not Moses and the prof if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Now that was chapter sixteen out of the King James. As Gizmo listens intently. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to try to get to 17 done for tomorrow also, and we'll see how that goes. So, I uh, thank you for watching. If uh, you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. I have lots of different videos on here. So, uh, just let us know what you think, and um, we thank you for watching, and you all have a blessed day. Remember to live, love, laugh, and laugh some more, because laughter is the best medicine. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.